Hey guys, welcome back. You guys are tuning in for another version or another episode of the homework workouts. It is Wednesday, I have to look, March 25 right now. Um, we're giving you guys another workout of two parts today. We're gonna work some arms, so you're gonna need your bands here as well, right? And then we're gonna need our, our uh, smart watt timer because we're gonna have a very long EMOM today, right? And that's gonna have a score as well today, which is gonna be repetition. So. How do you score and where do you find all these homework workouts? Shaboom, we have an app for that. Oh, wrong button. WOD, which is the workout of the day. If you click that one and you go through all the dates, you can probably find March 25 as well. So you can actually find the workout and do it with us, right? And that's the ID. You guys need to join us doing these workouts. So get ready. Let's get started. There's no better way to start off by just hitting some arms. So we're going to do approximately 100 reps of curls and 100 reps of push downs. Now, we're going to show you the movements first before we actually dive into this. So what you need is your elastic band. And then once you have the elastic band, we're gonna set it up the following way and start off with the curls. Now, I need you guys to step on the band. And by, by grabbing the band lower, you create more tension. By grabbing the band higher, you create less tension. You can have your palms facing up or your palms slightly facing in. I'm okay with both. We look for this. In the starting position, we have arms extended, and then we try to move from the elbow joint and bring that hand towards your shoulder. Hold tension there and control on the way down and go right back up. We're doing high repetitions here, so you don't want to move too slow, but what I never want to see is that band just yanking your arm back down. I want you to keep that control. This is a very good fit. Now we call this the band curl here. Now, the other movement that we have, we have a nice setup for this, is going to be the band push down. So instead of standing on the band, you're going to wrap it around your neck. Now, Marluce is going to loop the band, and Ben is going to have just one portion of the band around the neck. Now, in the starting position of the push down, you're going to have a 90 degree angle of the elbow. And then from there, you're going to simply extend the arms by pressing them down, bringing them back up to 90 degrees. And you want to find a similar pace as you had with the curls. So extend firmly, control the way down. Extend firmly, control on the way down. Actually control on the way up. I messed it up, but we're gonna keep shooting. Here we go. Now playing around with the tension means grabbing the band a bit higher, grabbing the band a bit lower. This is good for a crazy arm pump right off to start this session. It is time for you guys to also start working instead of just looking at how we perform the movements. So grab your band, because we're gonna do one round together. Then after that, I need you guys to complete the other four rounds on your own speed. So grab your band, set it up, wait for me to count you guys down. Once you have it underneath the feet, you're going to grab your band. Your arms are going to be long. We're going to start off with 20 band curls, followed by 20 band push downs. In three, two, one, go. So again, yes, it is okay to start off a bit slower, but eventually we need Kind of like, a, kind of like a, a good pace going on with these curls. A set of 20 shouldn't take you a whole minute. It should take you approximately 40 seconds, so about two seconds a rep. Like up, down, up, down. This is a very good pace we're aiming for. Like as always, if you want to get a good bicep pump here, you want to also control the portion where you lower the band on the way down and not just let the band pull you down very fast. It is an elastic band, but you want to make it as tough as you possibly can. Upon completion of the 20, it goes on the neck, stay nice and upright, and start that set of 20 push downs. You guys can right start right away. So we hit the biceps, we hit the opposite muscle as well, we hit the triceps. Really focus on keeping your elbow in the same position and driving that band straight down to the floor. So your fist is pointing forward, and then your fist is pointing down towards the floor. Thinking simple, right? Bended elbows, extended elbows. And when you move that band back up, you remain tension. You remain tension on that band. So you go through all 20. And because it's five rounds, it is 100 reps of curls and 100 reps of push downs. And I recommend you to not take a break at all. So you get that quality pump going in like three to four minutes. Good. Now if they've completed one round of 20 and 20, hopefully you did as well. Now I need you guys to continue on this workout, do four more rounds of 20 reps of each, and you continue by pressing pause. Okay, it is time to start putting in the work. The workout portion of the day is gonna be the following. 
Now, we're going to have a timer set for 20 rounds of one minute. The first 10 minutes, you're going to do every minute on a minute, 10 squats, 5 burpees. So a fixed amount of work, and you're going to try to maintain that for the entire 10 minutes. Now, if that is all very hard to do, but you can maintain the second portion of 10 minutes right after, you just stick to that. You do 10 squats and then 5 burpees. But if you've got some left, I challenge you to do 10 squats and as many burpees as possible every minute in that second 10 minute time frame. That's going to be our workout for now. So let's talk about the movements a bit, right? Now, first movement is going to be the squat. The RX version of the squat, Malou's going to show you guys that I just need this. I need full pressure in the floor. I need you to sit straight down, come straight up. Try to be as upright as possible. Keep pressure in the entire foot. Try to brace the body on the way down and just please do not collapse. That's what we're looking for. Now, if you're not very comfortable with doing squats, you go a bit slower on the squats. But let's say you have an injury that's holding you back from doing squats, and like Ben is doing, I want you today to go for the glute bridge. So you're gonna have your heels in the floor, your toes are off, you start with a 90 degree angle of the knees, you drive your butt in the floor, and then you drive your butt up to the ceiling. And you wanna try to avoid everything that has to do with arching the lower back. So suck in the belly button, fold your hips around your belly, and try to squeeze your butt as hard as you can on the way up. Thanks, Ben. Now, the second movement that we have is the burpee. Now, if you want to attack this workout, you're comfortable doing burpees, they're going to look the way Marlus is going to demo them right now. You go on the floor, your belly, your chest, your thighs are all touching the floor and the bottom. You jump up, you clap above your head, and just make sure in the top, guys, you are fully extended. You can rest there, Marlus. Thank you. Now, if you say, hey man, I do have those burpees, but they're always a challenge for me, you don't have to do it the jumping way, you can also do it the stepping way, as long as you stick to the standards I just gave you guys. So Ben is going to show you those. You're going to walk back, go all the way in the floor, you're going to walk up, you're going to still finish with that little jump with the hands over or just behind your head, as long as you're fully extended. Now while Ben is doing this, we're going to assume we have an athlete here that has trouble with jumping movements. Instead of jumping up, I just want you to end an extension and just go back down. So there's no jumping here, we call this an injury scaling. Now what also might happen is we have an athlete that has trouble with the shoulders and it makes it impossible for him to press in that push-up position. He's going to just do a kickback, which you can do stepping or jumping. But we're not going to go to the push-up portion of the workout. That is for shoulder injuries. It is time to get off the couch again because we're now actually going to perform the workout all together, right? Now, the first minute, we're going to do this one together, and then you guys are going to go along for another 19 minutes in this conditioning piece for the day. What I did is I used my SmartWatt app, and I set it at a timer of 20 rounds of one minute, and just going to keep going, right? 20 rounds of one minute. So you guys set your timer if you haven't done that yet, and then it is uh, going to be time to start. So in the first 10 minutes, it is 10 squats, 5 burpees. And in the second 10 minutes, it is 10 squats and whatever amount of burpees you feel comfortable doing. But the challenge is to get as many as you possibly can. Okay, you guys are ready? All right, good. I'm going to click start timer. And we start in 3, 2, 1. Let's go. So 10 squats to start off each round. You can do them very fast to have more time to rest or you can go a bit slower to use the entire minute to work. That is all up to you. If you know you're going through this for 20 minutes, it's going to be a long, long, long workout. Oh, here we go. We're loose already on our burpees. Ben is pacing this one a bit better. He's going a bit slower. And we're loose is like, if I go faster, I might be able to rest a bit longer. That's his whole strategy. We're 30 seconds in. 30 seconds in. He's still working there. But she knows she's going to go on again in 25. Many knows that he probably has a good 20 seconds to rest, but Ben is very good at pacing though, so he's going to be all fine. Good. So, that was one round in 30 seconds, the other one did about 40 seconds, right? It was all great. Now what I need you guys to do is go along for another 19 minutes. Be smart using your energy in this one, and make sure to lock your results in the end by writing down the amount of burpees you did in that second 10 minute time frame. Okay, you guys continue, and press pause.